one significant change is uh, the level of media publicity of these matters. When we started handling these issues 10 years ago, we, uh, on the instructions of our client, made a deliberate decision to keep the matters low-key low and low-profile for two reasons. One, uh, for the benefit of the children. Uh, number two, so that the court had the um, space uh, to decide the matters on the merits without pressure uh, from the media, from the public. I think that has changed quite dramatically. Um, and, and recently, almost every matter uh, is covered by the media. Um, I think before anybody, or a young lawyer, thinks about pursuing uh, issues or cases like these, um, I think uh, he or she really has to examine their, um, their motivation. Um, why I say this is because uh, some of these matters go on for a very long time and if the motivation is not right, uh, the interest and the stamina will very soon run out, that's number one. Number two is once you take on these matters, uh, you need to take them very seriously. Um, and that means being fully prepared, that means having your research um, continuously updated, uh, that means um, getting the right team involved if you feel that you need that assistance, whether it's senior counsel or co-counsel. And the reason why we say this is because this is public interest litigation. Every matter which is unsuccessful um, unfortunately has an impact on other matters which are pending in court. Uh, and it's one thing to be unsuccessful uh, on the merits, but it's quite unfortunate if the uh, a dismissal is a result of ill preparation uh, or otherwise. So I think that's something that we have to avoid at all costs. Um, so my suggestion is be well prepared, take the matter seriously. And this is whether or not you do it for bono, uh, for paying clients or at a significant discount. Um, what really matters is that the cases are argued well.